Insist if you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems... excessive. He may be Talvashoth. The Winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way! Yes, what is it? If this is about a rescue, that woman did not seem the type. She is the type I feared we would attract. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas' son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. I should know about the competition. The Winters, out of Navarra. They don't care one whit if Seamus is returned unharmed. Their lead, Sarah Guinness, is hungry for a foothold in Fair Kirkwall. And frankly, we have enough of their kind. There must be suspicions about why the boy went missing. Why? What have you heard? Nothing. Until now. There is truly nothing known. He is gone, and there have been sightings of a Kunari. The only complication is that Seamus is known to be of a sympathetic mind. He may have placed himself in danger, but it is danger nonetheless. The Kunari are not wild in the city. Petition their leader for the boy's return. The Arashok has declared that it is not his role to do so. Apparently they're rebels, the Talvashoth, are hunted anyway, killed for what they are, not for what they may have done. That does not bode well for Seamus. This isn't a task for a guardsman? Yes, isn't it? There is a concern of appearance. If we used guards, it would allow Viscount Dumas' opponents to say this admits the Kunari threat because the city responded. In these times, public embarrassment is preferable to official embarrassment. Ready the reward. He'll be back in no time. Declare it if you like. But the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them, on the Wounded Coast. And the world's rid of one more canary. Easier than I expected. Call the men back. We've got an appointment with the Viscount. Isn't that right, Seamus? Ashad! You killed him! You... You Vashadan bitch! That one of their words. See, that's why you need to be dragged home. You're playing too nice with those things. I'll wager you've gone even further than that. Haven't you, brat? A little rough for a rescue, don't you think? Competition? Well, you're too late. The Winters, uh, I, have already claimed him. Sirrah, if I must go back, so be it. But I will not see these murderers rewarded. Spoiled shit! I'll cut out your tongue and charge extra for bringing you back quiet. And as for you... I could do with some entertainment while we wait for the others.
dead and good riddance, but she said she was waiting for more. A lot more. We're not giving you up. Strip the camp, and we'll ready a fitting welcome. never seen so many corpses. So much blood. Soil yourself later. There may be more. Never lied. Never coddled. You were worth his time, or you are not. They are not the brutes others claim they are. Take me to my father, and I will try again to make him see. It's clear this was not your first encounter with this... Ashard. I met him soon after their ship foundered. I had run again. 
to escape the keep and my father. A shard was to map the coast, to find an answer for the Arishok. I had so many doubts. Kunari have none. I wasn't aware that Kunari take many friends. Perhaps it isn't the right word. I am the Viscount's son, bound by everything that means. A shard did not care. We were both seeking something. That was enough. I confess I am not sure what one does with a dead Kunari. The body is no longer him, and is worthy of no special treatment. That is, apparently, their way. Should his people be told? They will know. Whether they will deign to acknowledge it, I have no idea. There was much of a shard that I didn't understand, but it was so very worth trying. The Viscount is clearly concerned about your safety. The Viscount sends thugs to do a father's job. I was in no danger until his help arrived. You could have told him this was your wish. Keep your assumptions. He doesn't hear me. He's as tired of being disappointed as I am of bearing it. And now, Ashad is dead. It's not right. We'll leave soon enough, Seamus. Be ready. I am at your whim, Sarah. I am ready to leave. And you have coin to collect, I'm sure. Let's go, Seamus. Your father will be waiting in the keep. Then take me to him. Father. My son. I thought I'd lost you. Enough, father. Uh, allow me to present one Sarah Hawk, Your Excellency. She fulfilled the bounty. You have my gratitude. I hope you encountered no great difficulties on my son's behalf. No problems to speak of, aside from the crowd that tried to kill us. I was told the Winters had involved themselves. Was there no way to avoid an incident? They murdered my friend. Where is the concern for that? It was my understanding you were captured alone. Foolishly traipsing about the coast as you do. I was not captured. I was with a shard. The Kunari. They are not monsters to be feared. If you would just try to understand, others would see as well. Better that you were thought abducted than to have their influence suspected in my own family. Benign or not, it's too much. A little too much insight into the office for me. Your actions are appreciated. The Seneschal will see you out. Mistress Hawk. It's him. That Templar from Ariani. I knew this was a bad idea. Ariani tells me you sought a better path than the circle for her son, Fainriel. I thought perhaps you would be willing to show mages a kindness once more. What? You can't be nice yourself? You are no Templar. You cannot know what a badge of shame that would be. There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. And you've allowed this? I was hoping you might speak to the group. Convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. Who are these apostates? Where did they come from? These are the mages of the former circle at Starkhaven. It burned to the ground and their Templars sent for us to relocate the survivors. Unfortunately, they escaped on the journey. With their phylacteries burned, it has been nearly impossible to track them. What's a phylactery? When a mage joins the circle, the first enchanter takes a sample of his blood. It is used as a focus to track the mage should he escape. 
Do the other Templars intend to do worse than recapture the mages? Sir Karas is a Knight Lieutenant of the Templars, a great crony of Meredith. Should he find apostates hiding from pursuit, Meredith will consider him justified in murdering the lot of them. Who's Meredith? You have clearly not been in Kirkwall long. Meredith is Knight Commander. She has changed the rules for mages in Kirkwall. They are less free than elsewhere. Though I dare say she has created as much dissent as obedience. If you've got this many mages escaping, you Templars aren't too good at your jobs. These mages have shown they attack Templars on sight. You have a better chance than I to convince them they are better off alive in the circle than free and dead. Sir Karas hunts them as well. If they have not surrendered by the time he arrives, this will be a bloodbath. Only one way out for these mages now. Blessing. I thought I was going to die down here in this... this tomb. Are you with the Templars? Please, I need to go back to the Circle. I never wanted to get involved in this. Not when he started making those... those... things. Who is he? Decimus. It was his decision. He kept saying the Templars would label us blood mages if we fled. Why not use it if it's our best tool? He slit his wrist and the magic... It rose from the blood and woke the skeletons in the cave. I ran. Decimus is wrong. Blood magic is a work of evil, not just a power the Templars keep from us for spite. Decimus is the leader of these mages. He's crazy. He said with our phylacteries gone, no one could find us. We would be free. I think maybe he set the fire. There must be a demon working through him. No normal man would profane the dead like this. Someone starts raising undead, and it's all downhill from there. I've been at the Circle since I was six. I've heard about demons, blood magic. They warned us, but I never thought I'd see it. The rest of them, they're still following Decimus. He's gone mad. I think he'd kill us all just to take the Templars down. Sir Thrask waits outside. You will be safe there. Templars have come to take us back to the Circle. Decimus, no! Stay your hand. These are no Templars. What do I care what shield they carry? If they challenge us, the dead themselves will meet the call.
Decimus. You should have listened to me, love. You, you are one of us. But you wear no mark of the circle. How is it you side against your own? That man was a blood mage. I don't have to be part of the circle to know that is wrong. Decimus gave us the courage to face the Templars. Without him, we would be prisoners still. If he taught you any of that blood magic, you could have him up and walking in no time. I warned him. I told him once he marked himself as a blood mage, that was all anyone would see. She won't admit it, but it's obvious she's just as corrupted. I swear to you, I have had no truck with demons. Please, we only want our freedom. Without your help, the Templars will execute us all for Decimus's crimes. If not in the Circle, how do you intend to live? I hear there are places outside the Free Marches where the Templars are not so vigilant. I don't have enough people trying to kill me. Might as well add all the Templars in Kirkwall. Then we must first throw off pursuit. There is a Templar who followed us. You must have met him when you entered. Kill him, and we can get clear of Kirkwall before the Templars send more men. I would not see these mages killed. But if we start murdering Templars, we'll draw their fury down on us. They would have us kill a man for doing the just work of a Templar. Will you buy us time to flee Kirkwall? Leave it to me. By the time I'm done, these Templars will swear that the sky is green. Your confidence almost makes me believe you. But I spent two weeks traveling with these Templars. They strike first and think after. They are far easier to kill than to fool. Are you trying to tell me this boy is all that's left of the apostates? I ran away when they began to use blood magic, sir. They are not in the cavern, Sir Karas. I have thoroughly explored- Who is this? Tell him who we are. I'm astonished Sir Thrask didn't mention that Sir Hawk, Knight Lieutenant of the Order in Ferelden, was here at the Knight Commander's personal invitation. Uh, yes. Yes, I was just about to tell him. We've completed our investigation of the mages in those caverns. There is no one left inside. One of the cowards ran out the back. You should go after him. Right. Their leader fled the battlefield ahead of us. Bloody coward left his own people to die. I uh, caught only a glimpse, but it looked like the back passages led out to the coast. I sent your men that way. We can still catch up if we go around the caverns. That's the faster route. The coast, you say? Men, fan out. Search the shore. We will retrieve these corpses later. I will commend you to the Knight Commander, Sir Hawk. Thank you, my friend. I didn't think you could do it. Truly, you must be able to charm a miser out of his last coin. I did not think any of us would leave those caverns alive. If it makes you feel better, officially you were killed during escape. I will do my best to seem cold and rotted then. Please, accept my staff as a reward. It has the mark of Starkhaven on it. I dare not carry it now. It should bring a good price. Now, we must flee as far as we can before nightfall. Thank you, friend. <laughs> 